Morning guys and welcome to my channel. This is a day in my life at the Diplomatic Academy of Vienna, but quarantine edition. I like to wake up to the sound of radio on this alarm clock because I don't like keeping my phone in my room, so I put my phone away in the living room. It's Wednesday again, like in my previous vlog, but now all my classes are online and we've just been announced that the exams will also be online. I chose today once again because I've got the most number of classes today. I've got history from 10 to 12, I've got a career stock from 12 to 1. Then we've got a bit of a break for lunch and at 2 p.m. we've got an economics class to make up for a class that didn't take place uh, on Austria's national day. From 4 till 6 I've got a bit of free time again, but I've got to do my French homework as well as read for political science for tomorrow and then at 6 uh, I've got my French class as every Wednesday and Monday and this ends at 8 p.m. and finally I'll be able to relax a little bit in the evening. Now Austria has just gone into a full lockdown now and we've got to stay inside apart from the necessary things that we can have to go out for like getting groceries and maybe some physical exercise and um, you can actually also go out for uh, mental well-being uh, which is a good thing you can take a walk and you won't get fined by the police you might notice that i haven't shaved in a while well that's what lockdown does to you doesn't it Alright, so my goal for this morning before the history class is to take as many notes for international law as possible. We've got a set of questions for the exam and what I want to do is go through each question and compile a list of all the information that I need in order to answer those questions. In order to answer them, my sources will be a textbook from Cambridge University Press by Anthony Ost, also the professor's materials, uh, the uh, PowerPoint presentation I mean, and also the UN Charter. In the meantime, I'll have some of these nice Nutella rolls for breakfast. So I've taken some of the notes that I wanted to take for international law. I took them in Word because it's much easier with the formatting for this kind of notes, but uh, normally during classes I take notes in Notion and I'll do that in the history class as well. I usually take loads of notes there and I like to keep them organized in Notion. Now I've got a bit of time left until my class starts, so I'll go and uh, cook a soup for lunch and hopefully it will be done by the time I'm done with the career stock. <laughs> So the soup is now cooking. I'll come back in an hour and add the vegetables. The history lecture is starting now, so I'll go sit down and take some notes. So the history lecture has just finished, as you saw I took loads of notes. Now it's time for the career talk where we'll find out some more about working at the OSC. It's 
been a full morning, so I'm now going for a quick walk with Alexandra to pick up an advent calendar that we ordered from Zotter. It's a renowned Austrian chocolate company and it's gonna get us through those cold December days. Just come back from the walk, it was very soothing, the weather is great outside, it's quite sunny. After such a busy morning it was great to breathe in some fresh air and uh, put a break to the work. And now coming back, I'm coming back with a lot more motivation to focus on the economics lecture. economics lecture is now done. There was a Q&A session of about half an hour at the end of the lecture and I also made my French homework during that time while also paying attention and I also asked a couple of questions. It was really good to clarify some stuff. Now Alexandra's got a study group meeting with a colleague from the academy and uh, after that she's got Russian class on Zoom as well. So because we're both on Zoom at the same time on different things we have to set up our desks in different rooms. So what we usually do in this case is that she stays in the living room and I set up camp in the bedroom. It's just this small space on the chest of drawers but it's really enough and um, I like changing the environment a little bit. So so let's get this set up. French class is starting soon, so I'll catch up with you afterwards. French class is now done, we talked in French about vaccines as well as inclusive language which are two new topics for me, I've never talked about this in French. So I learned quite a lot of new vocabulary today, it was quite productive in terms of language. It's almost 8pm now and it's finally time to let off some steam after a busy day. I'll just uh, take some time off screens, I'll just uh, close everything and uh, have something to eat for dinner because I'm quite hungry to be honest. Then I'll make some tea and read something for pleasure before finally going to sleep. I'm trying to make a point of going to sleep at 11 p.m. every day. Sooner would be better at about 10 p.m. but I've also got a lot to read for the upcoming exams which are in about uh, three weeks now. Uh, so 11 p.m. is a good middle ground. I'm trying not to go over that because then I wake up really late and I've got very unproductive days. This has been a day in my life during lockdown, studying at the Diplomatic Academy of Vienna. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more vlogs like this and study tips and productivity videos. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye bye.